Speaking in Siaya during the burial of one of the victims of police brutality in the weekly anti-government demos in July, Raila says the opposition is headed to the negotiation table without conditions, asking their Kenya Kwanzaa counterparts to do the same. Mirian Nyambura reports. Uh, in Azimio leader Raila Odinga attended the burial of 34-year-old David Omondi of Wire in a horn, Gem, Siaya County on Saturday. Omondi is among tens who were allegedly killed by police during the anti-government demos in Nairobi two weeks ago, before the opposition postponed the protests. A week after talks to resume bipartisan discussions for a second time began, the opposition leader gave a timeline for the Kenya Kwanzaa government to engage the opposition. <laughs> We want to tell them that come to those talks in good faith and come to them seriously. Because if you lack seriousness, we are prepared to go back. The first attempt by the two political factions to hold talks hit a snag early this year after both parties failed to agree. Odinga is now hopeful that with the current dialogue team in place, the negotiations will be fruitful. The funeral service of the late Odiambo evoked memories of the weekly anti-government protests where the opposition leader maintained that police used excessive force in dealing with the protesters and called for accountability. We will not tire. Amen. You can kill some of us, but you cannot kill all of us. Mirian Yambura, Citizen TV. Former President Uhuru Kenyatta visited Uganda's President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni on Saturday. Uhuru is a facilitator of the Democratic Republic of Congo peace process, a position he has held since the 22nd of July last year, after he was appointed by the East African Community Heads of State to spearhead peace talks and focus on promoting security in the region. During the meeting that took place at State House in Tebe, the two leaders had discussions over a wide range of issues, with Museveni thanking Uhuru for visiting.